It's Wednesday, starting out from the shelter. I'm the last one to leave because I had to repack my bag twice. Um, <laughs> I left my camera at the very bottom and I wanted to make sure it was there. And then my water bladder was like not working, it was leaking. I was like, oh, I gotta repack it. But we are hiking about seven miles today and then we're stopping at Creekside Cabins, I think is what it is. So Jackie and Liz were gonna try to push through 12 miles and get into Fontana. Um, and then I was like, I don't think I can go that far after yesterday's crazy hike. Um, so I was gonna go six something and Fig was gonna do the same. But now we're all together. We're all gonna do the seven miles into the cabin. Um, apparently they have like breakfast and a hot tub and robes you can wear and laundry and my shirt smells really, really bad. <laughs> So I'm excited to be able to stop. I think my parents are driving up to do a resupply tomorrow. So that'll be great. And then we're gonna hit the Smokies. So that's coming in hot pretty soon, but it should be a pretty easy day of hiking is what I hear. But I feel like every time we think it's gonna be an easy day, it kicks our booties. So getting started, it is a beautiful day right now, at least. So there's that. This stretch of trail takes us from Brown Fork Gap Shelter to Yellow Creek Gap, which is a span of 5.4 miles. Oh my gosh, Lizzie thought that was a bear. It does, look, it looks like he's waving at us. Oh my gosh, that's so funny. Hey bear, lots of bear stumps out here, that's for sure. I love hikes like this that are on top of a mountain. They're kind of through this little brush because it feels like your own little secret clubhouse or tree house um, that no one knows about. <laughs> it's like, and it's just really fun to walk through because it's like a little, kind of going through little hidden tunnels up on the top of the mountain, but it's really cool. You can see the mountain peaks um, on top of the brush. But yeah, today's a really cool day of hiking. But you know how I said I had to unpack my bag two times already because I forgot things? Well, now there's a third because I just realized I made a total rookie mistake and I did not leave out, I didn't pack my snack bag or my lunch bag. Um, so normally I take that stuff out of my food bag. Um, so that I don't have to deal with it. And my food bag's all over the bottom, so I have to unpack it again whenever I want to stop and get my first snack. Normally I just pack my pockets full of like mini cliff bars or whatever, something I can just grab really easily, but rookie mistake. No, it's not. Did you go like spread it? <laughs> yeah. Did you? No, I know I didn't do that, but that's a good. Not. <laughs> that's a good plan. No, that was Lizzie. <laughs> Lost and found. Did it. <laughs> oh my god. You can pass me. Okay. Bye. 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 Get any stacks? <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, you're so cute! So sometimes I'm I will say unpacking. that people like, Here comes the third unpack of the day. Oh no, he got the room camera. Pretty out here. Oh, sorry. It 
it's 11 11 make a wish and also every time i get to these little covered areas <laughs> i just feel like a little kid playing in the woods like this is my fort um lizzie made that comment earlier about being little kids playing in the woods and i was like oh it's exactly what it feels like it's amazing i love today's hike it's been really easy compared to the last two. Just some few rocks and like little jungle gym areas. It feels like an adult jungle gym. So it feels like we're just out here playing. That's amazing. Jacob's ladder yesterday was a beast. Climbing up out of the knock was a beast. So it's like we're kind of getting rewarded today with a little bit of an easier hike and it's wonderful. A little snack for the day. These are so good. still hiking. I've got about a mile left of just basically straight downhill. I think there's a few little uphills. Um, but I'm trying to get seven miles in before one, which would actually be a record for me, I believe. So that would feel pretty cool. Um, I just got interviewed by Hollywood, aka, I think his name is Bl Zach Blecken Stop. I'll have to ask him, but he's on YouTube. And his show name is Hollywood, so you'll have to go check out his videos as well. Um, but yeah, today's been an awesome day for hiking. It feels good. Uh, not anywhere like the last couple days where they were nuts. But yeah, I love it. I love today. It's awesome. So I see the road down there. It's only 1230 and I have like 0.3 to go. So I'm definitely going to make it. Um, it feels good to hike. I mean, for me, that's a lot to hike before one, so it feels really good. I want to take a moment to share with you a brand that I love and a product that helped me so much on the AT. Ned is a hemp wellness collective, and I love everything they make, but my favorite is the Daily Blend. I used it on the AT, well that is until a mouse chewed through the dropper. I love that Ned is organic certified, and they work directly with a farmer in Paonia, Colorado. The hemp oil is even safe for your pup. To check that out, follow the link in the description of this video. They've even given me a code to share with you guys for 15% off. Just use my name, Kara, at checkout. It made it to the road crossing with time to spare. Now to go find my friends. I found my friends. <laughs> hey, I made it. Time to spare. Hey, hey, how y'all doing? Oh, life is good. Full blown weirdo. Mm hmm. <laughs> We're here at a little hostel off the trail and this is amazing. I'm so glad that we had this idea. <laughs> Look at this. I'm sleeping by the creek tonight. So I 
to go into town and get a ride from the hostel that we're staying at and I ordered food from this little restaurant called Glenn's Place. I think we're in Robbinsville. <laughs> I got a lot of food now I'm walking to Ingalls. I tried to hitch a ride but nobody picked me up. That's okay. I only tried with like two cars. I don't know. <laughs> I don't feel that I hitchhike it by myself. I think I'll wait home with friends. I can see eagles from here, so no big deal. Gosh, we're in the hot tub. <laughs> this is like the best thing ever. Oh, this is so nice. Here's our dessert. So exciting. So there's like some weird vibes going on. Just flipped out, started yelling. I don't I wasn't I didn't see it, but it got nuts apparently. So now we're just out here. <laughs> with our ice, with our dessert, we're trying to hide. So exciting! I'm in my tent now. I have to go to bed. There's just some weird vibes going on. <laughs> Um, several of us got like super anxious in the car at different times and I don't know, just, um, just, I don't know, just weird, weird vibes. So I want to stop this and explain a little more about what happened. Do you remember when I had the huge bag of food that I bought, not just for myself, but to share? I ended up getting fat shamed by someone in the hostel. Um, my friends also got yelled at by the same person. So it was just a very interesting stay. It's a beautiful place and it was still really restful, but it was just interesting that all of that happened while we were there. So, trying to go to sleep, get some sleep. It's a beautiful place here with the creek and everything, so hopefully we can get some rest. Um, but yeah. Coming up. <coughs> things get wild on the trail. Hey, little buddy. Don't you look at me that way. Plus, I have lost 20 pounds in three weeks. I get real about losing weight on the trail. And Lizzie, where are we going? We get so close to another big milestone. Oh, this is like a moment that I've been dreaming about for years. It's all coming up in the next video. Bye.